So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P1491 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P1491? Well, it's an EGR valve lift insufficient detected. And what does this mean? Well, basically the onboard computer is having a problem communicating with the EGR valve. And what could be the causes? Well, it could be the EGR valve itself, or it could be the wiring. And especially as these vehicles age, you know, check, you want to check the wiring and the harness and all that, open shorts, anything going back to the ECM. And I'm going to just jump over here real quick on Amazon just to give you an idea how much this EGR valve roughly is. And it ranges around $38 to $100, depends on which uh, vehicle you have. It's not a hugely expensive part. And most people would just automatically swap this out to rule out the EGR valve because because that is a very common problem and more than likely it will be an e EGR valve, but it can't be the wiring. So be very careful jumping to that kind of conclusion. There's several forums out there that, that would people have on this issue and you, I'll put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. But the first thing that I would do is here's a good image of this and everything, what's going on with the EGR valve and it has the, the wiring and it's going back to the, to the onboard computer. The first thing to do would be to check this wiring. Be sure that it's not open or shorted and be sure that it's, it's getting the correct voltage. Also be sure that the, where it's plugged in, the harness has got a good connection going in and the wires aren't all messed up somehow and, and not getting a good connection. And once you check that, then if that all checks out good, then replace the EGR and more than likely that's going to solve the problem right there. It's either going to be in the wiring with an open or a short or a bad connection or it's going to be a bad EGR valve. If that doesn't solve the problem, it could possibly be a bad ECM, but that's pretty rare. Usually, uh, most of the time ECMs or onboard computers don't, don't go bad that often. So that's not that common. It's way more common that people will replace the EGR and it doesn't work and they think they got a bad uh, onboard computer, but really it's the wires running back to the, to the, to the ECM. So if you take, if you do have that problem where you think it might be a bad computer, I would recommend just running new wires all the way back to the ECU and testing it out because that, that's a common thing that happens is that that wiring goes bad going back to the ECU, to the onboard computer. So if you run new wires going back, you get a pin out of the onboard computer and you run new wires straight up to there. You, and then you know that it's got a good connection and you know it's got a, a new EGR valve then you might have a bad computer at that point. But I would definitely go over that very, very well before you replace any ECU, if it goes that far. Like I said, 90% of the time, when you have this problem, when you have a Honda P1491, it's gonna be the EGR valve or it's gonna be in the wiring. So that's basically it. I just wanted to give a quick overview of a Honda P1491 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.